All right, I got it. You ready? Yo, Krubies, welcome back to another HMC Presents. I'm Josh. I'm Erica. God, you're so much better at that than me. I need to get better at it. Hang on. I'm Josh! How was that? Was that I, good? Do I sound that perky? Hi! No, you're like, I'm Erica. You have like, I don't know, it's like how it should be. I'm just like, what's up? I'm Josh. I'm here. I'm here. I'm like that kid that like really wants to be there, but wants yeah. people to think he doesn't care if he's there. Um, but right. he really does look forward to the event, but he doesn't want you to know that he looks forward to the event. But in reality, everybody knows that he looks forward to the event. You're you're happy for the event. That's me. I'd be you the are. kid in like the 80s outside of the school, leather jacket on, cigarette, ciggy hanging yeah. outside of my mouth, one foot <laughs> propped up on the side of the school, acting like I didn't want to be there, but I was the first one there so I could prop up in the good spots so everybody has to see me when they walk by. Exactly. And be like, look at that cool guy. Yeah, that's me. I am. That's you. My, na- my name should be Josh Dean, like James Dean. I'd be like, Josh <laughs> Dean. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> uh-huh. That'd be me. And I even got like the slick back hair and all. He he probably didn't have a receding hairline like me, but I'm old. To be fair, he was 20 something at the time. That's so. true. That's true. I think my hair looked worse no. when I was in my 20s. But anyway, we are not doing it in the news because the news sucked this week. So we have decided since when this comes out. No, it'll be Monday, right? Yeah. So we're almost in September ish, yes. isk. September ish. We're getting ready ish. for the Halloween season. So we thought we would rank our top five favorite. Halloween season movies, movies that get us ready for Halloween, the Halloween season. I think I explained that okay. I think you did a spectacular job. Thank you. I appreciate that. All the Krubies, just the patron Krubies, just got 17 ish, 18 ish minutes of behind the scenes content. They got to hear about, I don't remember all the other stuff we talked about, but your disastrous water leak that almost killed you. It did. It almost killed me with. Drowning. Yes. Sure. And probably scared to death of bugs or a ghost. Imagine like though, if you didn't drown. So the water lands in your mouth and you're like, blah, 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 blah. you get rid of it, right? I'd hope that isn't how you spit the water out, but blah, 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 blah. I thought it was funny. And I did <laughs> I it. Hope not. I did it twice for people that are not on YouTube right now. You should hop <laughs> over to YouTube to see that tongue action. Oh, we talked about hookers in their special, if the hookers special, is that <laughs> in- insensitive to call them that? Or is it, what are you supposed to call them now? Prostitutes? Yeah, but that's probably derogatory too. Way to go real. That's a low blow. Way to go. I was like here. You were just like, boom. I just went for yeah, the you hit him right in the, the nuggets. Um, <laughs> if they were to specialize in a certain trade and would that actually be good? So go check that out in the behind the scenes that only yep. VIP and official crewbies get. Um, yeah, so imagine the water lands in your mouth, okay? But you're fortunate enough that you were a little bit conscious because you were afraid already of the falling debris because you knew it was going to happen. And you get the yeah. water out so you don't, thank God, you don't suffocate and drown, okay? <laughs> However, there's a parasite because you live in Florida and it's hot and steamy. And I bet fungal parasites love that shit. I bet you have fungal parasites everywhere because of the climate down there. Um Probably. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, and and the it it (laughs) grows inside of you and you get the thing fixed and you go on with your life and you're like, Woo, this is great. I fixed my roof issues and then like it just turns into um What's that? Mo- what's that new show with Pedro Pascal? The Last of Us. Yeah, because of you, it like it like it ejects itself out of your stomach and just like you have this like fungal parasite that comes after everybody because of the issue with your roof that the roofers missed. Bastards! I will be what? What is that? Patient zero? I'll be the first clicker. I mean, that's okay. I I can be first. I just can't concentrate after you said clicker. I don't know why. That's not even like a bad word for anything. No. But it just made me giggle a little bit. When clicker? You, clicker. I don't know why. It's just weird. That's what they're called. It's right? just weird. I don't know. Look at my teeth. My teeth look so white today. This is going to be a long episode, dude. I'm sorry. I have been traveling and... Um, this is therapy. Working late, sleeping little... 
I love the shirt, Caffeine. by the way. You got the new Thank HMC uh, logo. I've got the original. So look, we got the OG. Nice. It, it's falling apart. Like half my face is missing. It actually makes me look like I'm missing teeth. <laughs> like my ancestors. I was wondering what this shirt was. So we're both wearing HMC yes. shirts. I was hoping you would wear this one. I'm like, today he's going to wear this one. I was wrong, but... You were wrong. I wore it... Um, when did I wear that? I just had that shit in the laundry. I just wore it. Um, mm. Perhaps we should coordinate. That would be smart, I guess. I have so many HMC shirts now that like, there's absolutely no reason for me to A, wear this piece of shit because look at it. I mean, <laughs> it just looks terrible. This is not even good marketing. Like People would be like, that is the stuff he tries to pedal at the beginning of every episode. Like I want that <laughs> turd, right? Like, Look at that thing. It like moves when he moves. Like, Look. How weird is that? I can barely quit. see you. Now I see you. Okay. Mm. I see Seth and okay. Yeah, I'm in Just the middle, of course, because I'm an attention yeah. whore. Here, let's see if. Yeah, look <laughs> at this. So full disclosure, this is not the t-shirt's fault. This is the original uh, podcast, H Horror Movie Crew podcast logo, and I got it on the wrong type of fabric. So other mm. people should not be doing this. Like my mom has this on a hoodie, I think, and she still wears it, and it doesn't look like shit. But mine okay. looks bad. It's okay. Whew. You can barely tell, to be honest. I I honestly couldn't even tell what the shirt was. It's me. Look here. Look. Until you pointed it out. I see it now. <laughs> here, look at my teeth, though. Look, it looks like I'm missing teeth. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. Like the hillbilly uh -uh. that I am. <laughs> there you have it. Now you oh, know. Oh, we talked about that. I'm an honorary hillbilly and you're an honorary Floridian. That's right. That's right. Now so. you just have to buy real estate in Ohio to match, right? There you go. And then we're done. Yeah. Then I'll own some real estate down there. You'll own some real estate here. Better bitty. Boom. But how's that go? Bit of bada boom. Bit, bit. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. That's why gotcha. we're such a good team, dude. Wow. <laughs> Got you covered. I remember shit. And then apparently. I just, dude, I, you it. know who I just acted like? Who? <laughs> My mom. Really? That's how she explains stuff. Hi, mom. Yeah, yeah, hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, Josh's mom. That's how she explains <laughs> stuff. What's that saying? You know, it's from like the 1970s and they like they did it on Mad Men. No, you know, Mad Men is the, <laughs> it's the show. She wouldn't say Mad Men. Though. She's like that show that's on that network that not a lot of people watch and you have to pay extra to get it. And it's from like, you know, with that handsome guy. Yeah, that guy. I think his name's uh, Josh. Josh is a solid name, though, honestly, dude. Anyway, cheesy Pete's, dude. Um, one thing I'm gonna give the Krubies some extra, uh, just some extra content, real quick. So I did go to Bloody Disgusting because I, as I said, there was no news to be discussed. However, it looks like it Thirteen Ghosts, the series, Dark Castle, hopes to further explore the world of the 2001 horror movie. Are you nice. are you a um, Thirteen Ghosts fan? Uh, I saw it once, and I don't remember it. Good premise. Um, yeah, it didn't age well. I watched it a few years ago again because I was like, it was one of those movies like when you remember watching as a kid, you really liked. Yeah. Um, yeah. and then you watch it now, and you're like, and you're like, whoa, <laughs> like this didn't age well for a, a plethora yeah. of reasons. Um, one that poor girl from is it Shannon Elizabeth from American Pie. I can't remember. She's you, in it. She's the one that's always every movie she's in. She's naked in. Um, I think it's mm. she's the one. Nadia. She plays Nadia in American Pie. Uh, the one in the bedroom with the webcam that he records, which again did not age well. Um, yeah. <laughs> everything in retrospect. I'm sure the effects didn't age well in that movie. No, they did not. But honestly, I think it is a perfect uh, premise for a series because you've got all those ghosts and you could do an yeah. episode on each ghost or I don't know. You could do a bunch of them. It'd be cool. If Flanagan did. I think Flanagan would be good at that. Uh, I thought, I think I did see, I saw that news this week or I thought it was last week. Who knows? And even though I haven't seen that movie in years, I would watch that show because of that. I think it would have a good premise. Yeah. Uh, Mike Flanagan also, he posted this picture this week that had me like, what is happening uh -oh. on his Instagram? And he posted himself holding the axe 
at the Overlook Hotel like Jack did in The Shining. And I'm like, what does this mean? What does this it. mean, people? I bet he, I think, I bet, I bet you there's going to be. When did that movie come out? Feeling. When did the first one come out? The original Shining? Yeah, let's look at 1980. Up. Oh, like 80 on the dot or like in the 80s? Yeah. 1980. Oh, so it wouldn't even be like an anniversary, right? So, well, if they did it in 2025, no. it would be a what? What would it be? 45 year anniversary, is that right? Which one? Would it be 40? Would it if would it be 45 yes, years, right? Yes, it would be 45. Maybe. I mean, I'm in. So, I'm also I almost in. died. I was like, well, oh, my God, he's listening to me. <laughs> to you, absolutely. That's what it is. And honestly, that's twice yeah. this week you've almost died. That's true. I'm telling you. That's not a good sign. <sighs> this may be it. This may be the last episode. That might be. I mean, I hope not. I hope not either. It'd be <laughs> that terrible. Would be bad. <laughs> That'd be sad. Look, I'm getting sad thinking about it. I know. Oh. <sighs> It's been an emotional week. Um, so yeah, there's some <laughs> news. Oh, I also saw some Scream 7 news. Apparently, they're going to start filming. They're going to film in Montreal again, which is where they did the last one. And it's, the filming okay. will start in the first quarter of 2024, which means we could have Scream 7 probably 2025. Early, yeah. Unless they finish it in time for October. Listen to this, though. So I guess mm. that they had it listed as Scream 7, and then it said Slash Blackbird, which I think, you know how some movies have, like, uh, fake names? So or when they're titles? Yes. Um, okay. But then, apparently, the Scream 7 got dropped off later in the week, and it just said Blackbird. Hmm. It's weird, right? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. What do you think that means? So we'll have to see. I don't know. Is it going to be a different movie? I don't know, but think about it. Scream, if they're recording in, in Canada in the first week uh, or the first quarter of 2024, that tells me they're going to be recording in winter. Could we get an all-white ghost face outfit? Wow. That would be weird. I would love it, dude. Why not? I want to see ghost face in the, in the snow. snow. He'd be like on a snowmobile. <laughs> That'd be awesome, and it's like flapping in the back. <laughs> That'd be so terrible, dude. Snow. But you wouldn't see the snow because he's all white. He's got a white outfit on. It'd he's be like, white out. It'd be off white. It wouldn't even be white. That's true. Oh, the snowmobile sounds great. It'd be terrible. It'd be like Manila. It'd be like a Manila ghost face outfit. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. Somebody uh, make this happen. I just talked myself. A joke. I just talked myself right out of that. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, um, was this list hard for you to put together? Yes and no. I knew what my first two were for sure. The rest I kind of had to play around with because it's also so this was tough because I had to take stuff that I I don't know. So every Halloween I watch The Shining, right? That's like my Halloween thing, but I wouldn't recommend that to other people because it's mm. not like for everybody anyway. So I have to like also think of what is a fun movie for Halloween to watch on Halloween or during the Halloween season. But I mean, if that's your Halloween movie. Then now I have to change this. <laughs> I did it on movies that get me mm. movies that I watch because it is the Halloween season. Like, uh, you know, let's get like, back to the hooker. And now, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> see how many times I can bring that up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I picked movies that I watch every Halloween season because it gets me going. Okay, then I'll just have to change like one thing. Are you sure? Time. I mean, you well, I can trust me. I can come up with some new stories that'll help you <laughs> buy you some time. No, it's okay. So I, I'll tell you a story right now. Okay. Then you can fix your thing that you screwed up because you weren't paying attention when I sent you that 87 page text message the other day explaining the rules of the game. I understood, but I got confused with myself. It wasn't you. It was me. Erica, do you want to play a game? Yes. I'm going to start sending voice texts like that. Everything will be that. <laughs> you should. Are we good for tonight? <laughs> 9 p.m. I can't even do it. <laughs> do it. Come on, do it. <laughs> Let's hear your best jigsaw voice. Mine's terrible. <clears throat> 
Nein, Bär. <lacht> Dude, you made my... <laughs> that was terrible. That's the, that may be the worst Jigsaw impersonation I've ever heard. Send it to James Wan and see what happens. Dude, you sounded like somebody at like a food court bathroom that was like trying to like... <laughs> Take a shit. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. And you ran out of toilet paper. You're asking the person in the stall next to you for too many paper. Too many. Please many f- use that clip over and over on something. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, we did. You know what? I'm sure somebody uh, has a worse jigsaw. Do you want to try to redeem yourself after that? No, I do not. I think it's fine. I think it's worth it to come out like that. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was great. That was my workout of the day right there. Yeah, get the ab muscles going. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, good. Yeah, you know what? The if you core. don't laugh, you'll cry. I hear that laughter cures a lot of things. Um, oh, my God. That was great. Pen. Okay. Drop my pen. Found it. Okay. Anyway, story. Okay. So you had the roof thing going on, right? So before I moved yes. into my first apartment with my roommate, he had already lived there and had a different roommate. Um, so he lit, slept in the room that I ended up sleeping in and then he moved rooms. However, like three months before I moved in, he had, was sleeping in the room and, um, similar issues, some ceiling stuff going on. However, while he was yeah. sleeping, the ceiling fell in on him in his bed and dead bats, dead <gasps> bats, dead bats, dude landed oh, on him. Wow. So crumbly, broken drywall ceiling fell down bats all over him. Oof, that takes the cake. And it fell on him. At least this didn't fall on, on me while I was sleeping. Yeah. So he was such a nice guy. He's like, hey, um, this whole ceiling is new. I'm going to give you this room. I'm going to move over to the other room uh, just in case. They said that there's nothing else up there, but just in case, because they didn't fix yeah. this side yet. And he'd, he'd cycled yes. through like 5,000 roommates. So I think he was like, man, if bats fall on this high strung man, this is not going to be good. <laughs> oh my God. There you go. I can't, that's bad. That's very bad. <sighs> Did I buy you enough time to fix your, your, do you want to play a game? You win. No, I'm you saying, win. did you fix your list? I'm fixing it right now. Erica. Your entire life, you've made lists. You say you love them. You had one job for this episode. It was to make... (laughs) This is Jigsaw from Saw 6. This is when he's like really dying, right? Like dying, but they've recycled him. (laughs) You are not... You did not follow the instructions, Erica. I'm being fired as we speak. What if this is how you got fired from your job? Your your boss called you in. Oh my god. You've been a nurse, but not a good one. (laughs) I heard your last episode, and you did not know about vasectomies. How am I supposed to entrust the patient's lives? Dude, people are, like, quitting. They're like, I can't do this. Especially first-time listeners. They're like, does this fucking guy really? Screw this guy? Yeah, they're like, she does has never even seen a Saw movie based on that impersonation. And he... Is like having a heart attack over here. It's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is great. My stomach hurts, dude. <laughs> well, there we go. Mine hurts too, but for other reasons, you know what I mean? Uh, uh any- <laughs> so anyway, um right. in normal HMC Studios fashion, on our ranking mm-hmm. episodes, we have to have some honorable mentions because we say we're going to do a five list and we just can't right. ever keep it to five. You said you had like six or seven honorable mentions you wanted to do, so I'm going to let you go first. No, no, we, we narrowed it down to two. Mm. Mm-hmm. So we can do two. <laughs> There's a lot of movies that could get you in the Halloween spirit. Well, I'm I'm a little concerned because you did the wrong list. So do your do your um, honorable mentions now fit the description, or do you? Or yeah, they didn't change. They didn't change. It was just a f- in the main list. Yeah. Now it makes more sense. So that was my bad. Great. Yes, I love lists. I like my spirit fingers. They were going, dude. I was like, wow, look at those things. I got it. Do you see me get distracted? I'm like a dog. Like. <laughs> <laughs> 
you're like, whoa, that's yeah. a lot of fingers. It's a, yeah, critters, a lot of critters. Walked right into <laughs> Whew, you would you like to go first or would you like me to go first with the honorable mention? Okay, my first honorable mention this is gonna be quick too, dog. Because listen, if you want to hear about this movie, you can go back to last week's Wednesday episode because I put Cobweb on here. Now, listen, everybody, I understand this is a new movie, I've only watched it once. However, I feel like it embodies Halloween and it is going to be on my Halloween playlist. Playlist is just music, right? Or is that a thing yeah. from? No, I can do rotation. My Halloween there we go. rotation. Yeah. I would like, I like to it. get the, if they even do a 4K version of it, I don't think they probably, well, I think it comes out in August. So, well, it is August. It comes out, I don't know when it comes out. But I want to get it for the projector because I think it would be cool to have it on the 4K and do it on the projector. So my first honorable mention, it's only in the honorable mention section because it's a brand new movie, is Cobweb. Love it. Love it. I my honorable mention only because I watched it for the first time as well recently based on your recommendation is 31. Do great pick. Right. Wow. It really is. It really is. That that movie left uh, an impression. That was a that was a fun one. It takes place on Halloween. It does. It's uh, and it's just fun, dude. It's a fun movie I'm i glad, don't know i'm glad you enjoyed it so much i did i, I was, was i was a little worried pleasantly surprised because i know chicks, i figured two chicks and horror flicks shit all over it when they watched it um and you didn't yeah. you uh the, the house of thousand corpses thing scared you so i was like eh, i don't know this might not be but that would be hilarious though because i love that movie and all rob zombies movies so if you watched it and you were like uh yeah, that is like how I feel about elevated horror. So then we would have right. like our we would have our our extremi our extremities aren't our extremities? extremities what are what are extremities? Those are like arms, right? Your arms and your legs. <laughs> Should I know that? Is that like common knowledge that normal people like? If you walked up to a random know. ass person, I would tell you the story about the lady on the scooter at Walmart that asked me to go to ranch. <laughs> no, that asked you to what? So I walk in through Walmart, dude, talking on the phone, like before, before earbud days, like Air I, was, buds, I had yeah. the phone to my face. So she could not have even like mistakenly thought I was like listening to music or a podcast. Like I had the phone and was talking to my mother on the phone and I'm talking yeah. to her. I'm looking at something and I hear, excuse me, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. So I, you're like, what? I'm like, are you talking to me? And my mom's like, Joshua. I'm like, <laughs> she's like, could you get me that ranch dressing? And I'm like, this is a, like, I'm looking around for Ashton Kutcher, right? I'm like, this is a joke, dude. Like, I'm getting punked. I'm like, you want this ranch dressing? And she was like, that ranch dressing. And I'm, I look at it, right? And I'm yeah. like, it's the same fucking ranch dressing that's on the shelf right next to you. Why do you need the one up there, right? And I'm, I'm thinking this lady's messing with me, dude. So I'm like, yeah. yeah, sure. So I grab the ranch dressing. I hand it to her. And then she sits there and looks at it, dude. And I'm like, I got to get away from this lady. So yeah, I did. left, dude. And mom was like, what was that? And I told her what was going on. <laughs> she was like, oh, stop. And I'm like, I can't make this shit up. <laughs> Why would you? But why of me? Like me of all people? Like why? Yeah. Like, excuse me. I don't know, dude. It was crazy. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. This did she find you again? Hopefully not a punter, dude. I'm I'm not in that. I'm not the guy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Abby would have followed her around the store and got her whatever she wanted. She's like, what yeah. else do? You, what else do you need? Can I ride in your basket, lady? I'll help you out. Abby would ride around. You'd see Abby, the lady, be doing her rascal thing. I'm assuming this is how it bounces. And um, <laughs> through Walmart, through all the aisles of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> all right feeding well, through <laughs> last story i swear we'll get to the list we were driving down to the condo the last time okay my parents when we took our parents my parents with us um they're not our parents abby and i don't have the same parents that would be weird although weird. not out of the realm of possibility for our family if i'm being honest well, i have a few aunts and uncles and i'm a little i wouldn't be surprised if they were a little close <laughs> in relation um <laughs> anyway we're driving right and we go over this bridge 
and it was like bumpy, right? So it was like a yeah. series of bridges because we're going over like different little lakes. I don't think they're lakes, like little canals or something, right? So we're going over them. But the bridges are just like so, but it was like Ace Ventura and uh, you know when he's driving the thing and he's bouncing oh, around? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like that. So we go over one and like everybody in the car is doing it, right? <laughs> so I, I like see everybody. I set the rear view mirrors. My dad's right yeah. next to me. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, that's funny. We hit another <laughs> one, dude. And it's like everybody's bouncing everybody. around. So <laughs> Oh no. We hit another one and we're all bouncing around, but then we get onto the flat lane and I just keep like bouncing around while I'm driving. And dude, my <laughs> Oh no. My dad gives me this look like this is not Stop. my this is not my kid. <laughs> because I'm just like you know, driving while we're driving yeah. and he's just like, What a fucking idiot, right? And I'm like, Okay. I guess it wasn't as funny as I thought it was. I think it's funny. Abby was in the back giggling. She gets me. That's why we're such a great couple, power couple. Um, That's why you're a team. So now we know what our extremities are. (laughs) Yes. I don't know if that's common knowledge. That's a great question. Mm -hmm. I know it because of work. I mean, we call them extremities. So I'm like, do people know that? You're like a medical professional. I'm an idiot. I I literally (laughs) just strung together 10 minutes of stories because of the word extremities that went through a lady in a rascal at a Walmart asking me for top shelf ranch to an Ace Ventura story on vacation where my dad disowned me in the car. Over wobbling. See, like, how does that happen? My brain's got a disconnect in it. Um, no. So now we know, I was going to say we would know, like mine would be, I'm trying to get my hand over there. It's not working. Elevated horror. Yours, right. look at that was a fucking awesome dude. Mine like would good. Uh, yours would be Rob Zombie, right? But it's not. <laughs> it didn't work out for us anyway. No. My second honorable mention. I think that we're, that's what we're on to, right? Yes. A lot of people <laughs> are going to get upset by this. I feel like, and I'm sorry. It's okay. Seth, in particular, hates this movie. Hates Uh-oh. it. I think it is absolutely hilarious abby doesn't like it either because it's mean but okay i think it's hilarious classic movie hubie halloween who i don't even know what that is adam sandler's halloween movie on netflix oh i never watched it oh my god dude you have to watch it and don't take it seriously I, i mean it's adam sandler I Dude, wouldn't anyway. <laughs> it is so funny. Like these little kids chasing okay. around town on bicycles with scream masks on. He's got okay. like this, he's got a thermos that is attached to his belt with like one of those, you know, the key things that janitors have. Oh yeah. Yeah. Zip. But it's like a canister <laughs> and he like has like special powers with it. Like he can like swing it up and hang from trees and stuff. Dude, it's the dumbest movie, but it is so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Who that's cares? My it's fine. I'll have to check it out. I, I missed that one. And now since I'm on a, I like, we've talked about it. I like Adam Sandler Mm. now. So I'll give it a shot. Okay. Well, I mean, this is like, like, uh, little Nikki meets, um, meets like water boy kind of, but set at Halloween. I'm telling you, it's good. Just give it a shot. Okay. Go into it with my sense of humor. Got it. Is it a kid's movie? No. Would you say? Oh, it's not. Okay. No, no, no. I thought it was. I think that's why I didn't watch it because I'm like, oh, it's, this so. is a kid's movie. Let's look it so. up, dog. Let's look it up, dude. It's so, dude, it makes me <laughs> giggle so hard. Honestly, it shouldn't because they really are. They're terrible to him. They're so mean to him. But it's so Probably funny. What makes it great? It really is because it's Adam Sandler. It came out in 2020 and Kevin James is yeah. in it. And I love Kevin James. I mean, look at this poster, dude. Like, this is the greatest. Let me see if I can hang on. I got to add. Of course, there's an ad. Of course. Screen. Are we surprised? No one's surprised. Share screen. Maybe. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know what's on this screen. Hopefully, there's nothing bad. Look at this <laughs> poster. I mean, look at him. Oh, my God. QB Halloween. Okay. Dude, you got to watch it. Wow, there's a lot of people. In dude, this, Rob him. Schneider. You see the course. mouth? All see, his friends. See, it's all, uh, that's what I love about him, dude. He's like, he's he is the Rob Zombie of comedy. He does movies with his yep. friends. Yep. Does whatever he wants. He Look at that care. logo, though, dude. That'd be a good HMC logo. I might steal it. It, it would be. I just really want to get... Look at Kevin James, dude. He looks like a werewolf. Oh, my God. Look at that beard. It looks so bad. It's 
great. Ray Liotta's in Ray it. Liotta. Wow. There's his wife. You know that's Adam Sandler's wife right there? Is it really? Yeah, Jackie Sandler. That's her. Nice. I think he's uh he's releasing a a movie with his daughters. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah. I saw a picture of it somewhere. Oh, Ben Stiller. All right. I'm trying to find the the picture of the kids in the scream mask. That's funny. It's right at the beginning though. All right, I don't know. That's enough of that. Stop sharing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I'll check it out. You should. It's great. It's a great one. It's it's a good. It's a good. One. It's a good um one. Oh, it's your honorable mention. It's your turn. Yes. Uh, my second honorable mention is going to be Haunt. I don't know if you've watched that Ooh, movie. I've never watched it. That one. So most of the, no, maybe not all of them, but this one also, I believe, takes place on Halloween. And it is about a group of friends that go to one of those walk through haunted houses. Mm. So it's perfect for it. It's gory. It's scary. You know, clown masks. It's, situation chasing is it an eli roth movie i don't know if he, i think he may have produced it okay i've heard good things about it um i think one yeah. of two chicks one of those chicks from two chicks yes that makes sense because there's two of them right 50 percent of two chicks i know i know both of them but i'm i know that <laughs> ha- <sighs> half of 50 percent of two chicks liked it is what you're trying to say yes that's what i'm trying yes. to say <laughs> You should do a whole episode like that. I couldn't. I would die. I was. I think uh, you would die. Yeah. I think I tried to once because Seth hates it when I do that. I, I'm pretty sure I tried to, and I like couldn't do it. It was rough. Yeah, it was rough. Uh, I think Tawny liked Haunt a lot. I don't remember what Felicia said, well, but it's it's definitely a really fun Halloween movie. I watched it twice in a row, like during the Halloween season, and it's a fun one to really get you in that that mindset and maybe make you go, hmm, should I go to one of those? Out in the middle of nowhere? Probably not. Probably not, but they are a good time. I can't wait till my yeah. kids are. We have one here in Ohio called, um, why am I drawing a blank? It is, I forget, but it's huge, huge, like a big. Nice. Um, what's the movie about the haunted house? Uh, not haunt, the other one. As Seth and I did an episode on it, uh, Scare Fest. Fear Fest, Scare Fest. Hell Fest. Hell Fest. That was a great movie, too. It is. I we, liked it. We have one that is similar to that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. It's big. There's like Very a big nice. stage, a band plays. It's it's cool. Um, nice. I'll send you a link to it because I forget what it's called right now. And they don't sponsor the podcast, so I'm not going to give them a free shout out. Like, Because if we say it on here, people are going to be flying from all over the place to come in and see it. And I'm That's not going to do that, dog. That's true. That's true. So that is my last honorable mention, Haunt. It's a fun. It's a you fun did a great movie. job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I mean, like, really, you did a really great job. It was very impressive. I like my saw voice. That See, this is how you know I'm being sincere, because I let you know how bad that was. That's true. <laughs> I don't So Honesty is the best policy. I just have a problem. I don't have a filter, right? Like the other day at soccer practice, my co-coach, co-coach, because we're both head coaches, because it's not okay. like an assistant coach and a head coach. Like we are co-coaches. Nice. Why did I say it like that? Um, co-coach. Co-coaches. We're co-coaches. And um, <laughs> anyway, he's got a knee. He's got to have surgery uh, next week, I think, for his knee. But one of the kids like booted this ball, dude, and hit him right in his bad knee. And Oof. I immediately started laughing. I couldn't help it. Like I just, I died. I was, I was done. I couldn't talk. I was crying. I was laughing. Oh, and my no. sweet daughter, LB, Lucy Beth, she goes, coach, are you okay? And she's, he's like, well, I know where she got that from. And it wasn't you. <laughs> you. Like, <laughs> like, it wasn't you that she got that niceness from. Aww. Is he okay though? I hope, yeah, he's fine. Hopefully. He's being a wimp, dude. He could have just walked it off. He'd been fine. Walk it off. Freaking Walk kids. It, it was a th- size three soccer ball. It's not that bad. Oh. Calm down, everybody. Jeez. So <laughs> I'm not going to lie. My list got bad. I thought this was going to be very easy for me. And it really bounced around. And I like, at first, I tried to cheat. I mm-hmm. was like, because honestly, I could put, do a whole, all five of mine could be Halloween movies. Like Halloween movies. Like the franchise house. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to put the Halloween franchise as oh, one. Okay. And then I was like, I can't do that. That's really cheating. So mine are a okay. little spread out. I probably could have done a top 10 for this, but, um, okay. 
and none of my top ten would have been the honorable mentions. I only put the honorable mentions on there because they probably maybe they would have been my top ten. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway, you ready for number five? I'm ready. <laughs> Was that a lot or what? Never. Go on. <laughs> my number five is no shocker to anyone. I wouldn't think. Okay. Scream. Every Halloween, I watch the movie Scream. I'm surprised it's that low. Well, it's, here's why. Because out of the rest of the movies, it's the only one that is not centered around Halloween. True. And you mean the original, right? The original Scream, yes. We watch okay. it around Halloween every year. Because we do scary movies okay. throughout the month. So like, there's a yes. bunch of movies we watch during the Halloween season. But Scream is always a staple. It's always the one yeah. I get most excited to watch like first because I like to watch the Halloween movies more around Halloween or on Halloween, right? So like Scream's the one that kicks it off. So I had it number five. Actually, to be honest, I had it as an honorable mention. And then I was okay. like, no, because I watch it every year. It's the one I get so excited to because that's like what kicks off Halloween season. It's like, okay, we watch Scream and then... Yeah boom into the rest of them so again it's not centering around halloween i don't want anybody being like oh i tuned in to this hmc studios episode and of course it's supposed to be about halloween and this asshole's talking about scream again well no it is not halloween themed movies it's getting you into the halloween spirit guys yeah you bunch of assholes <laughs> good pick that yes. would be in my top 10 mm. for sure so it's not in your top five. That's disappointing. It's not in my top five. No. Oh. I'm sorry. This list. is the first list that's going to be completely different for both of us. It's your list. I mean, you're allowed to have an incorrect one. <laughs> right. I like that. <laughs> incorrect one. <laughs> uh. Uh, all right. My number five is Sinister. Ooh. That's a good this one. This movie, I mean, obviously it's not as effective as the first time I watched this movie, but since I don't watch it often, it still gives me legit scares. It's different from other horror movies, and it's just like the music is great in it. It's dark. The content, the ending is great. Like, I just love this movie. I think it's one of those that is great for this time of the year to really get you and really, especially if you haven't seen it, Totally recommend it because, I mean, I really haven't met people that dislike it and it has shock value, which is what's always fun. And that's kind of hard to find now, honestly, here and it there. Is. It's just so. so dark. It is. It's extremely dark. Like, and we're talking about like visually dark, not yes. that it's, I mean, it's dark content too, but right. it's just dark. The it is. Movie. It's definitely one you have to watch at night with the lights off and like, yes. you can't even have your microwave light on. No, everything off and as loud as you can. Yes, dude, such a good movie. Ethan Hawke is phenomenal in that movie. Yes, Scott Derrickson. Good job. Good job, Scott Derrickson. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you could do that throughout the episode. Number four. That's what I should do. Um. All right, yes. my number four. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm gripping onto my table. You shouldn't because you've already said it. It is the movie 31 by none nice. other than the greatest horror director of all time, Mr. Rob Zombie. He's down there. I'm doing a lot of like arm things. Pointing Vanna to White. the store. I'm doing a lot of Vanna Whiting today. Back yes. there. 31. Dude, takes place on Halloween. Yep. It's gory. It's gross. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. You have a little person dressed like Hitler, speaking yeah. in Spanish. It makes yes. no sense. At all. But then you're sitting there and you're like, it's like one of those things. It's You're watching something you shouldn't be watching. And who doesn't want to get kidnapped on Halloween in a van with your best carnival friends where you may or may not end up eating one of them? You know, that's a good yeah. time to me. You got chainsaws. You've got people wearing other people's faces. You got people eating their friends. You've got little people dressed up like Hitler talking in Spanish. You've got this Harley Quinn knockoff that is comes yep. in with a big guy in a diaper. And yep. to top it off, you've got Doomhead 
And to top that off with a cherry, the final girl's name is Charlie, who we named my daughter after. Boom. We didn't really, but we tell her that. Boom. Clearly it was Charlie Manson, so we named her after. Of course. Great. One of the greatest <laughs> leaders of all time when you think of about all time. it. Like, think about it. That guy is a leader. You may not agree with his policies, but you can't argue the fact that he wasn't yeah. taking charge of the situation. <laughs> he sure did. He controlled the whole situation. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just couldn't imagine. Like, this dude's like four feet tall. He sits is around. He? Pl- I think he's short. Pl- I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm obviously exaggerating, but like he... He played short, like yeah. hippie music on the guitar and like played yeah. like beach. Like he was like re- on a Beach Boys recording. Like the dude was, I cannot imagine being like, yeah, that's my guy to follow. Yeah, let's do what he says. Yeah, it's a little, a little odd. But <sighs> have you ever read the book Chaos? Mm-mm. I think I've mentioned this on here before. But yeah, it's a book. It's about um, drugs and the CIA and how he may or may not have been working with the CIA and they may or may not have been aware of everything that was going on there, but it's definitely worth a, worth a read. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'll Chaos. Check it out. There you go. You're welcome. But, but 31, I agree. And it, it's so gritty. It's in your face. Yes. And it is funny. I, I'm, I, we laughed. I mean, there's so many nasty things are said in this movie that I was like shocked, but then I laughed because I'm like, oh my God, how do you come up with this? <laughs> like, it's so nasty, but it's so funny. Uh, oh. But it's a good time. It's a, that's why it's my honorable mention because I could definitely watch this again and just have a good time with it. There you go. Everybody Bravo. loves popcorn in hell. Yes. You're welcome. My number four is a, well, I think it's lesser known. I don't, see people really talk about this. I don't even know if you've seen it. It's the woman in black. With um, Harry Potter? Yeah. I have seen it a long time ago. I absolutely love this movie. It is the one of the perfect ghost stories. And you know, I'm a huge ghost haunting, haunted house fan. And this one just does it for me. When I don't watch it for a long time, it's still it's very scary. And like it's not like Sinister where Sinister is just so in your face. Mm. This one's more it's something's in the background. It's creeping up behind you. It's dark also. And I like his story as well. So you connect with the character. Another great ending to this movie. Um, I don't and remember I just like the it. atmosphere. Well, I won't spoil it just in case. I'm going to watch it this season because you recommend I'm writing down your list here. I'm going to check it out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I so I really like this one. This one really gets you into that spooky vibe because the whole movie it's like this mansion right on this one island. It's on an island on its own. The fog on a marsh, mm-hmm. isolated. So it's like isolation horror. It seems like it's cold. So it's just perfect to like snuggle up on your sofa, turn all the lights off, loud again because you want to hear all the stuff going on. And just really get into it. Like it's a it's another one that I love it. I actually physically own the movie because that's how much I love this movie. That's when you that's wow. when I love something. Like I own it. <laughs> so I don't know if I've love ever me. met somebody who likes this movie that much. I that's why I'm like, this one's I don't nobody really talks about it, but I absolutely love it. It could also be I'm very biased. I love Daniel Radcliffe, mm. so he really adds to it, but I read the book. Like I really like this story it's also kind of a revenge story going on kind of yeah like like i spit on your grave type revenge huh (laughs) like what i said like i spit on your grave type revenge or no no i mean not like i haven't seen that but i've heard of that no i wouldn't watch i would not watch that i've heard that one's pretty pretty brutal it's awful it's terrible i would never watch it so yeah so the woman in black Funny story, again, I have a lot of them. I, Abby and I were watch, started watching um, The Half-Blood Prince the other night because that's the one yeah. she's on. She hasn't seen it yet. So okay. we started watching it. And as I'm watching it, mm-hmm. um, he's in the diner and he's like flirting with that girl. And I'm like, yes. man, I wonder if they regretted casting him later because he was like a cute kid and like he fit the role of harry as a kid and then like as he got older i'm thinking like man i bet they wish they picked somebody else to play harry 
Because he got, he had like an ugly stage. God, he was so ugly and like awkward, right? Like like yeah. he was supposed to be like portraying this confidence because he's come into his own. Like, I'm about to geek out on Harry Potter right now. Like yeah. He's like got these powers. He's using them outside of school. So he's feeling like a real badass, right? And yeah. then like Dumbledore shows up and cock blocks him. But I'm like. <laughs> he sure does. I'm like. That's so rude. It really was rude because she was down there. She was willing. She was ready. She was ready. Yeah. She wanted to <laughs> and see And Harry his. was like, hell yeah. yeah. He was like, finally, right? Even though. He, finally. He, yeah. But I was I can like. get over man, Cho. He got so <laughs> ugly. He was a, I, I, I was fine with him the whole time. I for sure like in Goblet of Fire is where I really felt he had a a really bad stage. I was like, ugh. That was like the long shaggy rough. hair, right? Yeah. I didn't like that phase. Uh Order of Phoenix and on, at least he had the shorter hair and mm. you know, he was okay. I I don't I'm just so attached to him in that role that Whatever. now I can't see him. I can't, like I'm curious when they do this show. Yeah. I'm really curious what they're going to do. I bet they do like what um if I had to guess, I bet they go the House of the Dragon route and I bet they have a younger actor play them as kids and then they'll have other actors play them when they're mm. older. If I had to guess. Yeah, and it worked with House of the Dragon so they could apply the same thing. It did. It did. Never. Although I'm not going to lie. I like the younger um, version of the blonde haired gal as opposed to the Me older too. version. I felt like they did a better job with the, I, of course I can't remember anybody's names right now, Me but either. with the other, Rinse. with the other girl, I'll tell my mom again here. Like I've really taken my mother's persona here tonight. Um, <laughs> her enemy, was it Mira? All I could think of was Mira and that's not right. The only name I could think of is Rhaenyra, which I know Rhaenyra, is the blonde. Yes, Rhaenyra. So Rhaenyra's enemy, yeah. the other gal, the queen, Alicent. Yeah. Ha, Alicent. It. There we go. They did Woo. a better job with Alicent's casting than yep. they did with Rhaenyra's. Rhaenyra. But I guess they actually cast the adult Rhaenyra first and then the other girl second. Not that it matters because uh, that's not what we're here to talk about, Josh. We will hopefully next year. <laughs> Get back on track. Hopefully. Oh, gosh, I hope. Okay, anyway, what are we on number three? Yes. Are You're we? number three. My yep. number three is Halloween, the original. Okay. All we right. watch it every year. It's a staple. We do a projector Halloween night. And nice. For the last years, we've done Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween four and five, and if we get to it, we get to Halloween six. Um, nice. I, I we talked about switching it up this year. We might do the latest uh, trilogy of Halloween. We've never done the Rob Zombie ones. Not everybody likes those as much as I do. Um, yeah. So we may end up doing Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends. I haven't decided yet for this year's projector night, but it's Halloween, dude. It is. Yeah. The, the name says it all. You've got Michael. On this side of me, over here, yeah. you got perhaps the worst rendition of Laurie Strode and Jamie Lee Curtis, but nonetheless, it's a classic. It's what started it all, and I watch got the it. Music you got the yep. music. I watch it every Halloween. My number three is the original Halloween from 1978. I think. I think so. We'll go with it. So. There's no we'll fact checkers it. on here. They can fact check us if they want. This projector night, do you do this in your backyard or you do this somewhere else? So before we moved, we did it on the in the backyard because uh, the house was up on a hill and there was like a hill like this. I'm giving you this terrible version of what's going on. And we shot it onto <laughs> the back of the garage. Okay. okay. Uh, since we've moved, the two years... Is this our third Halloween here? What, uh, what year is it? It's 2023. Yeah. We moved in in 2020. We didn't do it then because we actually moved in in October. So we didn't do it that year. 2021 and 2022, we actually did it in the garage because the weather was terrible. So, okay. But we have like the screen. I, got, I bought a new one though, dude. It's a 24-foot nice. blow-up screen, dude. Wow. Yes. It's going to be Sweet. fantastic. It's going to be pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to live. I'm going to live stream it on my Twitch account. It's going to be cool. It's going to be sweet. It's no, it's no big deal. It's like 24 feet. <laughs> Next year, it'll be 50. Maybe I'll get two of them, hook them together. I haven't decided yet. Duo Scream. How cool would that be? I'll play Scream right, right next to Halloween. And it'll, I know. Or, or like back to back. I'll just keep running around watching both of them. <laughs> In a loop. 
It'll be cool, dude. Yeah, my number Good three, takeout. Halloween 1978. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, my number three is The Shining. As I mentioned, I do watch this every year. I watch this on Halloween every year, Ooh, traditionally. In the morning or later? Later. Later. What's your yeah. Halloween? Like, what do so, you do for Halloween? Like, what's your ha- I don't mean to cut you off, but I no, am it's cutting okay. you off. So I mean to, my, obviously. My Halloween is quite non event uneventful like i so i always decorate the house like halloween actually i'm gonna probably start in september this year because why not instead i usually start october 1st but i'm like it's like christmas let's just start a little bit earlier yeah we'll start doing it in may why not well (laughs) although we are horror fans so we could i suppose but so i decorate outside i do the trick-or-treating like you know i have the candy ready so i like hang handing out candy and that's when i'm usually watching the movie uh, okay. i can't do horror movies during the day at home at, at a movie theater yes yeah because obviously you can't tell but my house isn't dark enough so i feel like especially watching a newer horror movie if it's mm. a something i've already watched maybe but i just feel like i lose out on a horror movie if i'm just watching it during the day unless it's raining then it's okay. Oh, that's always the best. It's raining. You can close yep. the curtains, shut the blinds. It gets dark. Yes. Okay, so you you get trick or treaters. So we don't. We live out in the county. So nobody. You'd be really dumb okay. to trick or treat at my house because you would get like one piece of candy every forever long, right? So uh, yeah. yeah, we don't do. We don't hand out candy anyway. You're number three, The Shining. I'm sorry, I cut you off, The Shining. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So so this is and and I've mentioned it many times here on our show that this is my favorite movie whether you love it or hate it it's mine it's it's nostalgic for me this is my comfort horror movie and i just love it it's my it's a ghost i love jack nicholson i know it's nothing like the book i understand that but (laughs) i still love it i love the book as well and that's it like it's just my comfort halloween movie this one definitely ends the season for me on a high note so there it is Wow, I'm surprised it's number three. Well, you'll see. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Calm down. Nobody yeah. get worked up. Uh-huh. This should be no shocker to anyone. My number two is the Halloween movie Trick or Treat. Dude, it doesn't get better than Trick or Treat. I love it. Watch it every Halloween. Uh, I've got Sam. He's back there. I should have brought him over for this. I should have had him announce my number two. You're going to kill me. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. What? Is it on voodoo? <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> I don't I don't want to record it. I'm done. I'm out of here. It's absolutely Bye. Ridiculous. We're doing an episode about <laughs> Halloween movies and you've never even seen the movie Trick or Treat, which is no. about the rules of Halloween. I can't even hear you because I don't want to hear the filth that's going to come out of your mouth about why you haven't seen it. Yeah, that's what I would do. I'd be upset too. He literally walked away. Well, I think don't he's getting the doll. Yeah, he is. This guy is. Look at him. Oh my God. The thing I is mean, huge. He's going to sit right here for the rest of the episode. And I'm going to talk to him because I don't want to hear you. I still don't have these in. I can't hear anything you're saying. I know you can't hear me. You. It's okay. Right? You see what I'm saying, Sam? This is bullshit. Okay. I'm sorry, but... Don't tell me. I'll make, tell him. I'll, I'll make it a point to watch it this season. I'm sorry. He doesn't. He can't talk. You don't want his head, this mask to come off either. You'll really see what's in there, and then you'll really be afraid. Oh, what's no. going on with your hands, Sam? Is this a slasher movie? It's all kinds. It's all. It's actually a horror anthology, which all mixes. Oh. Two. I don't want to ruin the movie for you. Okay. Anyway, okay. this is Sam. He's from the movie Trick or Treat, which you've never Sam. seen. I know. Okay. We can we can still be friends. It's okay. Well, now I don't want to say a bunch about it because I got to go put him back. Hang on. Damn it. <laughs> Who thought like that Sam. was a good idea? <laughs> You hear my puma flip flops flapping? 
No. I still can't hear you. It was rude of me to even ask you, and I knew I wouldn't be able to hear what you had to say. Did you talk to the people while I was gone? That way they don't leave? No. You just sat there in shame? Yeah. That's what I need is a bell. Shame. Like Game of Thrones. Shame. Like Game of Thrones. Anytime I hear the word shame, I I always think of that scene. I think a lot of people who watch that think of that. Oh, absolutely. It was such an iconic scene. It was the it only is. time you actually feel mildly bad for Cersei. Very mildly, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I feel a little bad for her. I like Lana mm. Heedy, 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 Laney Heedy. Anyway, back to Trick or Treat that you haven't seen. Dude, it is like the cinematography is great. It looks great. It's a fun movie. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a perfect Halloween movie. A perfect Halloween anthology. I think there's four different storylines which somehow okay. intertwine throughout the movie. So uh, my number two is Trick or Treat. I hope you wrote that down. Now you've got Hubie Halloween and Trick or Treat and to watch. You're welcome. That's why these lists are great. This that's is true. why I love lists because this is how I find out about other movies. Yes. So, and I had no idea that was an anthology and actually like anthology. So mm. that works out. It does really okay. well. So do you guys have spirit Halloweens down there? We do. Yep. So did you go last year and see all the trick or treat stuff? Sam was there. Like they went really heavy on the trick or treat stuff last year. I actually didn't go last year, which is surprising because I usually go in at least once. Um, but honestly, I don't think they even had one near me. I don't know um. where they had them last year. So that's probably why too. I don't remember really seeing one close by. So hmm. there's a lot of vacant stores around here. A lot of things have closed down. So I'm yeah. sure oh, it's they coming. will pop out. It's, it's coming. coming. Did you, you know see the video it. that I sent you guys uh, last weekend of Leatherface and Pennywise at Lowe's? Uh, I thought I maybe I didn't send maybe I never sent it. It was I thought it was in the group thread, but it's like they have the big tall uh, Pennywise and Leatherface that move and talk nice. and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like the new Pennywise or yes, yes, the old the, the Bill Skarsgård Pennywise, and then I think it's the original Leatherface is what they had up there. Dude, I re- I watched it this week again. Yeah, and this movie never gets old. Never, dude. Ever. It's amazing every single time. I love those kids so much. Like, I feel like I'm part of that group every yeah. time you watch it. It's such a great movie. It really is. It's a perfect movie. Really. It is. Okay, anyway, digressing. But Sorry. Is it... Wait, so are they animatronics or projections? These... The Pennywise and oh, the Leatherface. Animatronics. Sorry. Animatronics. Wow. Yeah. Like the big, Chucky, the big Chucky Cheese things that dance and stuff. Yeah. But their Leatherface, nice. uh, Pennywise talks. Leatherface just has the chainsaw. Oof. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's cool. It's cool. I didn't buy it's one. They cool. were two hundred and like eighty dollars. Well, I mean, I guess you could reuse it for many years to come. That's true. If it has a ten year lifespan, you could take that two eighty divided by ten. Man, it really didn't get to cost you that much money. I should work at Lowe's. I could sell Ooh, these things. You could be a sales. Yeah, you could really sell that Pennywise. See. <laughs> This is going to give you a long, lengthy lifespan. These things are very quality built. See, I could definitely sell those. I almost sold myself. It. You're probably going to go buy it now. You're I just ordered it. a picture of Pennywise. You know I don't go to stores, so I ordered it. That's that it'll, true. it'll be delivered tomorrow. Excellent. Do you guys decorate for Halloween? Eh, we don't. We do. Don't? Okay. Okay. Well, that's true. You don't, you don't get trick or treaters anyway, so that's the problem. I, yes, I we decorate it. the inside. The inside of the house okay. is decorated. Plus, I feel like this. I am always in. Tri- I'm always in Halloween land because I'm down here. My my office yeah. is over there, and I see this stuff all day. Yeah, when I'm not traveling, and uh, so I feel like I never escape Halloween. True. Well, it is Halloween every day. See, like the shirt says. Every day is Halloween. That's Boom. Right. That's right. Boom. All right. My number two is, I don't know if you've seen it. It's a found footage because, of course, found footage has to make their way on this list. It is The Houses October Built. Have you heard of this movie? It's Some... big in the found footage Somebody told me about room. this. Is there like a bunch of like uh, masked creatures in this? Uh, there's a lot of mass like people in it. Yeah, I think I may have seen this. Was it like big on Netflix a while ago? 
I don't know. I think I've only I've watched this on Amazon. I don't think I've ever seen this on Netflix. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Okay. The house that Jack built? That's not it, right? No, the house is October built. Oh, the house is October built. Yes. Um, I think I have seen this, but if I would be lying to you if I told you I remembered it. Yeah. Well, this one also takes place either on or around Halloween, and it has to do with this group of friends going to extreme haunted houses around the country. So it just perfect for Halloween season because that's probably what a lot of people are starting to do. Oh, all the haunted houses are starting to pop up, little carnivals. I know we get them around here. So you start, right? And then this one just obviously goes to the extreme of what if they were real? Mm. And um, this one has a lot of uh, something I'm scared of, which is uh, home invasion stuff going on, stalking. The masks um, are scary and just being, you know, like watched all the time. Uh, This is definitely, I think it's a fun one to watch during Halloween. I watch it during this season every time. And because I don't watch it throughout the year, it still has scary moments. And all of these movies to me have a great ending on my list because you're just like, oh my God, (laughs) it's the kind of ending I like in horror movies. Quote unquote, unhappy movie, unhappy endings. Mm -hmm. So... I do recommend this one, especially if you like found footage. Uh, this one's really up there for me. And uh, a lot of found footage fans like this one a lot. So it's a popular a popular one for spooky season. Houses I, October built. I don't think this is the one I was thinking of. I don't think I've seen this. But I heard okay. somebody. I was listening to a, another podcast. I don't remember which one it was. But uh, this movie was brought up on their podcast. And I had actually either written it down or put it in my notes that it was one I needed to watch because they were talking about yep. it and they were saying that it was good. So I will check that out. Yeah, it is low budget, but considering it is low budget, it's I think it's pretty well done for a found footage. Like the, it's, They seem like a real, like with the, the intention of found footage, they seem like a real group of friends really doing this. And because uh, we did an episode on this movie and they really went and interviewed these they're not carnies, the haunted house people. So they have that in the actual movie, which is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. It's a good, it's, it's a lot of fun. A lot of weird stuff. Creepy people don't go to haunted houses that you don't know anything about. I'm getting that vibe. And you have had two haunted house movies on your list so far. So far. So far. There's still one left. Interesting. Well, I hope our number yes. one's the same. If not, it's going to be very bad for you. This is not going to be the same. Do you already know what mine is? I don't, but I it's not going to be the same. <laughs> but hmm. you never know. That's true. I cheated for my number one spot, just so you know. In natural Josh fashion, I had to bend the rules for my own personal gain. That's okay. It's your show. It's our show. Our show. That's what I told you earlier. I said, I said I said it was your show. So you actually said what That's I right. said. My bad. Our show. No, I said it was your show. And then you, you did. You and I'm like, was, wait, you were no, like, yeah, it is. That's right. Then you Itch. called me a piece of shit and told That's me right. nobody really loves me. That's right. And then I felt and bad. And still got the list wrong. So there you go. <laughs> and then you messed up. And I was like, yeah. well, I'll let it go. And then I didn't. And then we got to my number one spot. My number one. Which is? is Rob Zombie's Halloween's uh, one and two. Got it. One and two. Okay. Watch them straight through, dude. Because they're one long movie, let's be honest. Yeah. And they're both fantastic, perfect movies. I don't care what anybody says because they're wrong. And you know what? In this country, you're allowed to have an opinion and you're allowed to be wrong. It's what's great about it. And if you don't love Rob Zombie's Halloween one and two, you're just wrong. And I'm gonna, I do enjoy the first one. It, and I'm going to make people sit here and listen to me talk about it again. Because I, I honestly only come up with themes that allow me to talk about Scream and Rob Zombie and Rob Zombie's Halloween and Halloween 2. I really don't need to go into any sort <laughs> of explanation. I got the damn movie yeah. poster for the first one right behind me. Dude, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're based around Halloween. It's yep. a beautiful Halloween movie. Mm-hmm. It tells the true story of Michael Myers, the story of Michael Myers, the really the only one that matters when you think about it. And it goes back, 
The first one redoes the original movie better than John Carpenter even did it with a better version of Laurie Strode. And then the second movie is all about Laurie Strode and it's perfect. And these movies are the staple. That's my stapler of Halloween. (laughs) That was a good stapler for me. Yes. I watched these throughout the year as well. I do. I'm not going to lie, but I'm pretty sure the last, I don't even know how many Halloween's I've watched the first Rob Zombie's Halloween in the morning. And then I watched the second one later that day. Do you have a favorite of the two? Um, if I had to pick, so here's, what's funny is I think I like the first one more, but the more I watch the second one, I am starting to like it as much if not okay. more, and I also find myself, if I want to watch one of them, I will actually watch the second one for whatever reason. I think I, it's because yeah. I love Scout Taylor Compton and that she is in that, she's in the second one more than the first one. The second, have you seen the second one? It's been a long time and I did not like it when I watched it because at the time I I uh, had a low violence tolerance and that one at the time that movie seemed really brutal to me maybe now it's not Mm. because yet again terrifier 2 takes the cake that's true so i mean i i have to watch that movie again because i honestly just don't remember the storyline of it Mm. i do remember her being in it a lot and annie Annie, Annie, yes, Annie? yes, 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 Annie. Uh, but I do remember Poor just Annie. being so, like, like House of a Thousand Corpses, it was so violent and so real that I'm like, I, I can't do this. But things have changed, and I've watched so much stuff since then that it could be much a much different experience. But I always got the sense that you like part two a little bit more mm. than part one. So it's a little, interesting. it's a little, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Convoluted. Because I feel like I feel like I have to defend the second one more than I feel like I have to defend the first one because people okay. shit on the second one so hard. Mm. Um, okay. So I usually go very hard on the second one because I like it so much. But also usually that's the movie that people want to argue about more. Um, Got it. But I love the more I watch the second one. So I think HMC podcast did an episode. We did them both. And I rated the first one of five. And I forget what I rated the second one mm-hmm. at that time. And that was years and years ago. Right yeah. now, today, I would rate Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 both fives. I'd give it fives. both fives. I think they're both. And I also feel like it's one long story. Yeah. And I think people... Again, I don't want to tell people what to think or what, to, but I think if you don't go into Halloween 2 understanding that it is the telling of Laurie Strode's descent into madness, then the first one you get Michael's from when he's the point yeah. of him being a child to what he becomes. The second one is where you see what happens to Laurie after all that trauma. I think when you take that into consideration as you're watching it, it makes it make a lot more sense than if it, when people just went and saw it and were expecting a normal. Halloween movie. Yeah. And I I Ooh. really enjoyed uh part 1 because I liked the story of Michael. I thought it mm. was the best story for him. I liked getting that background, the whole psych ward, everything. It's a whole hour his that section. Yes. It's more than half the movie is that and I'm fine with it. Like if he wanted to put more, yeah. I would have been fine with it cuz it was great. I think that is another one, and I can be completely wrong, that he intended to be a trilogy. I think what he initially wanted was to tell that young Michael Myers story, do the Michael Myers story, Halloween movie we know with Laurie, and then the Mm. third one be what we got with uh, Laurie Strode's story. But I think the Weinsteins were so... and He's he's on record saying this. He's talked about it a bunch. He talked about it on... um, He was on... Howie Mandel's podcast a few months ago and it got brought. He was okay. talking about how difficult and excruciating these guys were to work with um, oh, wow. throughout that hmm. process. So my assumption is that if he had it his way, 
uh, it would have been done that way because he had no desire to come back for the second one. And then I think they had even rotated through a bunch of directors that were going to take over and do it, and then he ended up coming back to finish it. Okay. Um, but nonetheless, do these movies for me make Halloween, and I get excited to watch them because I can I watch them throughout the year and I love them. But mm -hmm. being in, in Halloween season when it's like nasty, I like to watch them on like a dark, nasty day when it's like rainy and gross. And like yeah. maybe it's because I know these movies so well, and they're also especially Halloween two is a lot of it takes place during the day, so like it's not that dark of a movie. There are dark scenes, don't get me wrong, but like yeah. you can watch it before it gets dark. If it's like dark, like if it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and it's nasty and overcast, you could like turn it on and get that whole get the actual Halloween effect. Yes, that's the best time to watch it. If you were invited to do an episode on either Halloween or Halloween part two, Rob Zombies, would you even have to watch the movie at this point? No. You could, probably, you could do it without it. Yeah. I mean, I would watch it, but I wouldn't have yeah. to. No. You wouldn't have to. I had a feeling. I don't think I watched it when I did... Uh, uh, Elm Street? Elm Street's maybe. I don't think I did. Maybe Is that I the did. same with Scream, would you say? Oh yeah, I could do it. I could. We could end this and do an episode on any one of the screen movies, and I could do it without, without watching without it. Without watching it, yeah. Nice. There's a, probably a lot of movies I could do that with. Plus, it also helps that I'm very windy, and I will just make shit up anyway. And if it's wrong, it's wrong, and I don't care. <laughs> That's a good attitude to have too. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, you know, I could. Ah, yeah, fuck it. I could probably do. <laughs> Okay, for instance, Jason X. We just did Jason X for the Horror Movie Crew podcast over the summer, and I didn't watch it. I knew I'm the one that picked what? it. Yes, I picked it because these assholes made me do like two months of space movies or something. Yeah. It was space yeah. month. That's what it was. It was space month, and yeah. Since we've started the podcast, I told them I have no desire to do a space theme month, and I get it. They're... Whatever, they're part of the podcast, so they get to occasionally say things that I take <laughs> into consideration and allow. I'm kidding. Right. Everybody calm down. But so I gave in finally. And I'm like, okay, if you guys are gonna make me do Space Month, which I don't want to do, right. I'm gonna pick the shittiest movie possible. So I picked Jason X. And then I did the entire episode and I didn't even watch the movie. Like I didn't watch that movie. And I, we did an episode on it. I just had remembered it from when I had actually watched the movie. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So, okay, yeah. Then. No, yeah. No, I could do it. Like, if you called me and were like, hey, uh, mom's under the weather. We're supposed to record Halloween 2 tomorrow. Can you fill in? I would be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or, okay, can you do it in 30 minutes? I'd be like, absolutely. Let's do it. Good to know. These yeah. are good things to know. There you go. Just in case. <laughs> or you could be like, hey, that movie Haunt you've never seen, would you like to do an episode on it? I'd be like, yeah, sure. I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll figure it. I'll wing it. I'll get on the Wikipedia and read it real quick. <laughs> Just read it and be like, oh my God, that scene was so amazing. That Revol kill was insane. Revolutionary. I mean, it was revolutionary. Yes. The way <laughs> that the they used the dynamic of the darkness mixed with the lightness, which gleamed off of the frontal lobes of that mask. It was so good. So good. And that spot of blood right there. Right there. It got me. It gets me every time. Dude. There you go. That's hilarious. Wikipedia to the rescue. I'll do it. I don't care. I have no shame. All right. My number one is another found footage and another haunted house theme, which is funny now that you mention it. It's like a lot of haunted house themes here mm. is, which I know you haven't seen, is Hell House. I have not seen it. And now that yep. you say that, that podcast that I was listening to that I was talking about that I thought was the other movie, it was actually this movie. Okay. They they liked it or they didn't like it? They did like it. I forgot how it got brought up. It was a ranking episode of some sort and somehow that got brought up to rank and uh, they okay. were talking about that they did like it. But the, they said the sequels were terrible, but that one was really good. Yeah, the sequels, yeah, they were... It's. It, it's nothing like this first one, but I'll never forget watching this movie for the first time. I mean, any of them, right? Any horror movie the first time and, and you love it. It's something mm. so enjoyable. But this one, it takes that. The house is October built that whole haunted house thing, but 
the difference here is that it's the same thing, a group of friends, but they are making the haunted house. Like they bought this abandoned mm. hotel and they're converting it into a walkthrough haunted house. But they knew it was haunted, right? E- yes. Okay. See, so, I've never seen it, but I listened. I, I read the wiki. You read the wiki, but this one just, I, I don't know. I absolutely love this movie. I can go on and on about this. I mean, we did a whole episode on this movie because I love it. It's one of my favorite horror movies now because I won't watch it for a while. I'll watch it in this season and I'll still get jump scares. It's eerie. It feels real without, you know, the and it's low budget, but it's not terrible acting like most of these found footage movies are. I don't know. This one just it's nostalgia at this point, even though it's not that old. It just hits all the boxes for me for spooky season. Plus, it also takes place ends up taking place near Halloween. And uh, yeah, so Hell House LLC, as they like to always add that LLC crap. I absolutely love this movie. Totally recommend it. That's for spooky season. another one I have to watch. See, we both have recommended some movies. Is this other. the first list we've done? Well, I guess the other lists, they were like franchise rankings. So we had to have the same movies in the list because those were the movies right. that we were ranking. So I guess, I don't know. It's, uh, never mind. Um, I can't believe you didn't have a, any Halloween movie on your list. If we had a top 10, it would because it's for the same reasons as you. It's the original. I do think it adds, you know, it's Halloween. Yes. Like, it's in the name, but these movies really put me in that mindset because they all have that same theme. They're all haunted. They're all mm. spooky, ghost-ish related, even sinister because you the ghosts are involved. That's true. So they all have that spooky theme where uh, Halloween is, but just in a different way. It's a slasher. It's a classic slasher movie. Mm-hmm. If we, Like I said, if we did a top 10, it would definitely be there. The honorable mentions would probably still be in my top 10 as well. But, you know, it just I couldn't pick all of these win over Halloween for me to get me in that uh, good old spirit. <laughs> good old spirit. So something Sounds funny like you Christmas. said, and you run a roll, so I didn't want to interrupt you. So I wrote it down yeah. is you said, um, you know, how whenever you watch a Halloween movie for the first time and you really enjoy it, and you remember I, I laughed. I didn't want you to think I was laughing at you. I was actually laughing at myself because mm-hmm. anybody who knows me knows that when I watch a scary movie for the first time and really enjoy it, everybody I know knows well, no. it because I <laughs> shove it down their throats. <laughs> you go on a tour <laughs> about the like cobweb, <laughs> like. To the point that it's probably nauseating. Like, oh, go- oh, Josh watched a movie and he likes it. Cool. Great. Oh, great. Josh saw another movie that he likes. Great. Mm. Yay. Because I'm Let's like, dude, I'm like, it. huh? You seen it? Ready or not? Ready or not? You, it, it, you, oh, you got to watch Ready or Not. Have you seen Ready or Not? No? No? Have you watched it yet? You got to watch it. Then I'll like send links like, hey, it's on this platform. It's on this platform. It's on this platform. <gasps> wrong Turn. Did you guys watch Wrong Turn 2020? You haven't seen Wrong Turn 2020? It's so good. You have to watch Wrong Turn 2020. I'm like texting people like, I just watched this great movie. It's Wrong Turn 2020. You have to watch I it. I watched it because of you. I have, dude, I don't know if I like something. I am, you know what? It's good for that though, right? Like it's good for the, 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 the movie. Like you're, I'm promoting You're like promoting it. it. Yeah. yeah. You're advertising for the movie. They should pay you. I agree, but it's like the same seven people that I tell it to, so it's not. <laughs> not too many people, then. No, my fandom is worth here. Let's let's do it. Like so, I like I know like seven people that I tell it about. Let's just say it's twenty dollars to get in. The, my fandom is worth around one hundred forty dollars to these people. <laughs> and then our friends group is free. <laughs> yeah, because they were going to see it anyway. So really, you should just deduct like half of that out. So like I, my my fandom is worth about fifty dollars to <laughs> these movies that people. Damn it, that's okay. That's not true though, because I come on here and talk about it, and a lot of people listen to, to this. Say. So really, it's more. To this. It's worth more. Yeah, it's worth more. There you go, Boom. jerks. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, okay, I do. Passionate. It is a bad habit I have, though. When I really like something, I really let everybody know it, don't I? 
I haven't experienced it, mm. I think, because the wrong turn, you just told me about it, like, not once or twice. And I'm like, okay. And then I watched it. So, mm. see, that's the know. problem is these people don't watch it when I tell them. If they would just watch it and get it, if they just bite the bullet and get it over with, then. Right, but maybe that's Mark, why Mark was the worst, dude. I wanted to punch him in his Canadian nose, dude, because <laughs> not only did I tell him how great it was, and he was like, "Okay, I'll finally, like, all right, I'll watch it." So he watches it, and I s- distinctly remember telling him the last ten minutes of this movie mm-hmm. make the movie. Like the whole movie is good, but the last like ten minutes of this movie are so. Well done, well shot, phenomenal, fantastic ending to a movie. Yeah. And the asshole watches it and stops. It's like, I got like 20 minutes left. I'm like, you oh, got to be no. joking. Dude. And then I don't think he ever even went back and finished it. What? I, I think he actually did, but I don't remember. Oh, okay. Like, I think I, it was like a month. I can't so. do that. Like, I. I don't I don't I don't think it's just him, but there are people who will stop movies mm. and just finish them the next day. I can't do that. I have to finish it when I'm watching it because I feel like if you're splitting it, yeah, you're not getting the full effect, which it happened to me with some horror movie I watched last year that I ended up falling asleep in the middle and I just all right, I'll just finish it the next day. And I ended up not enjoying the movie, but everybody mm. else seemed to enjoy the movie. I'm like, is it because I watched it split up? Like it, it makes a difference. It does. I've done that even when we've recorded episodes. Um, because I'll start a movie way too late, and generally it's a yeah. movie that I'm not looking forward to watching. Yeah. Full disclosure: there are movies we do episodes on that I don't want to watch. Um, and <laughs> I also it was back when I took like heavy notes, which I've kind of shied away from. That's why the yeah probably why the quality of the podcast has went down. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, but I uh. We'll do that. Like, I'll, it'll be like 11. I'll be like, I don't have any desire to finish this. Maybe I'll like it better when I start it tomorrow. And then that doesn't happen. But I'm like, if I'm not going to sit here and finish this. So I've done the same thing and then had to record about it. And I do feel like it impacts my uh, enjoyability of it when I do that. It does. Because you're not watching it in full. So mm. I rarely do that because I also forget things pretty quick when it comes to movies. I'm actually... It's funny. I remember everything at work, right? I'll remember random stuff. But when it comes to movies, I don't know what it is. Like, I can watch it tonight, record about it tomorrow, and I'll still forget mm. a lot of things. I'll have to watch it a lot for me to, like, really remember it. Okay. But I'm pretty bad with remembering movies instantly like that. See, Very strange. I'm... <laughs> I can watch a movie and if I like it, I will remember everything and just about everything. I can do the whole episode without having to have notes. If it's a movie that I just don't like, and I think it's because I have such bad ADD that if I don't like the movie and I don't focus on it, I'll be on my phone or I'll be checking Mm. emails for work or I will literally work while I'm watching it just to get through the movie. And that's when I'll be like, what the fuck happened during this thing? Like what happened? Yep. Or Seth will be like, do you miss this entire scene? And, and I'd be like, oh yeah, walk me through that. Cause I don't remember it. But, um, walk me so through that. It happens. It happens. Cause like I said, yeah. dude, and the other thing is like, I take such heavy notes for the episodes I used to that that was yep. impacting my, uh, enjoyability. enjoyability. Yes, it really was. It was movies that I liked and I'm like, I feel like I'm rating it less than it deserves because I didn't enjoy watching because I was like watched like taking such detailed notes. So it's made my life easier. I think it's made it easier to have a discussion. But I the thing with that, though, is I have found that if I don't like the movie, I don't pay attention to it. So it's like a double edged sword, because if I was taking notes, it forces me to pay attention to it. Right. So. It, it yeah. is a catch because I used to take a lot of heavy notes, too. But I even if it's movies I've already I know I enjoy and I have seen 10 times, I'm still taking heavy notes because, like I said, I'm not very great with mm. memory. But you miss out on enjoying the movie because you're there typing right. like, oh, this seems important. Um, it's very freeing to not have notes anymore. 
I awesome. agree. And our episodes go just fine when we don't have notes. Check out, speaking of, check out the episode on Cobweb that came out, well, by the time this comes out, it will have been last week, but it yes. dropped uh, yesterday. So go check that out if you haven't uh, already done so. Absolutely. Absolutely. And check out the movie. Absolutely. And I think Jaws comes out Wednesday. So today's Monday. Ooh. All of you non patron crewbies that are not paying to get it early, which you should be. Um, but if you're not, it's Monday. That's okay. Mondays suck. That's why we do these on Mondays. Maybe you'll get a little giggle in your Monday. You'll be happy on Monday instead of upset and shitty to your coworkers who probably aren't having a good day either. So be nice to each other. Okay. Um, Wednesday Jaws comes out. That is it for the HMC podcast. Um, creature feature monster summer, whatever the hell we were doing. Um, we're going to jump into Hitchcock month, which is going to be September. And then nice. Then it'll be October. And it's my, since we're only doing two episodes a month now, uh, the host picks the theme for the month. Seth picked Ooh. Hitchcock, obviously. Um, and I have the distinct pleasure to pick the theme for October. So I've got to figure that out. But nonetheless, Ooh, not even pressure. why we're here. Are you, is there, is there anything else you would like to say before we wrap it up? I don't, but you know, I get check out all these movies from both our lists. Cause these are some fun picks. I think in combo, these are some pretty good uh, spooky season movies. I think so. Maybe we yep. can do a post where we list out 31 movies they should Ooh. They should watch the Krubies. It'll be our recommendations. Maybe so there's what there's That's a lot of recommendations. 31 days in October we could give a movie a day. So Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Uh <laughs> thank you. Be to fun. all of the patrons that give us their hard-earned money to listen to us talk about movies and video games and sports and gambling and home repairs and bats and guano and Ace Ventura and vacations Fuckers. and real estate um, about graphic tees, shirts, Fuckers, Florida. Hook, hookers, Florida, Florida and hookers, hookers that reside in Florida all that yes. great stuff. Thank you for that. You get every episode early, behind the scenes access to every, just about every episode. Usually it's, it varies. It's around, I don't know, a couple hours of extra content every month that you get. You also get exclusive access to t-shirts before everybody else. It's pretty awesome. I think if I weren't on here, I would pay to listen to it. I mean, I'm just saying I'm throwing it out there. And even better, we have a new patron, Aaron P. Welcome to the family, buddy. Thank you for giving us your hard-earned money. And thank you to Aaron P. He's new, so he goes at the top. Colette S., Matt B., Zach F., Rosalind, Vicky D., Brian Hathaway from the Don't Go Out There podcast, Kimberly D., Felicia Connor from Two Chicks and a Horror Flick, Caitlin Ashley V., Mark and Brooke from a podcast on Elm Street, and my lovely mother, Nana Stevie Nix. I'll have you know, Erica, there was a Stevie Nicks shirt at Target while Abby and I were there last weekend before we saw Talk to Me, and I didn't buy it. Ah, uh, that's a shame, but that's good to know because I should go look for it. They if may have it at your Target. Target. It was at Target, yes, in the graphic tees section. Part of me wanted to buy it <laughs> because of my mother. The yes. s other part of me... um. <laughs> thought rationally and said, Josh, you already own too many t-shirts, which people probably are confused by because I wore this shit show. Um, and then I was like, Target charges $20 for a graphic tee. Walmart is like $9.99. I'm not going to overpay for this t-shirt that A, I don't need and B, will probably only wear once. So I didn't get it. That's, that's fair. Good for you. You overcame buying this shirt. <laughs> Yeah, but then we ate dinner at Chipotle, which was 30 some dollars, and went to the movies, and we got a large popcorn we didn't need for $8, and we both got yep. drinks for another $9 each or something. So, like, there's, like, $80 that I spent unnecessarily that I could have just got the shirt. But you went to the movies. So that's fun. And you had dinner. It was that's a true. date. Sounds like it was a date. It was a date. You have to date your wife. If you don't date your wife, somebody else will, and that would be a problem for both of you. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yes. Big time. Well, and in that case, we're out of here. Bye. Bye.
<laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. I think I laced you. What? Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I haven't.